So you're getting ready to put up that website using Joomla. Or you've got one already, but you're looking here for help. Hey, that's a great thing. No matter which scenario is yours, you probably feel a little bit like the people in this next video. It's crazy. It's confusing. But you know what? Web design is a lot like building a plane in the sky. Some people like to climb mountains. I like to build planes in the air. I grew up wanting to be on a wing, wanting to be up this high. Sometimes the temperature up at altitude will reach 60 below. It's brisk, it's refreshing. You never know what you're going to come across up here. Canadian geese, mallards, owls. These people back here, that's why I come to work. That's why I build airplanes in the sky. We're not just building a plane here. We're building a dream. I love this job. I got a lot of thanks up here. When I look over there and I see that little kid, and I look in his eyes, I saw the thanks I need. To really understand the process of building or maintaining your website then, you really need to start at the beginning. So we won't be building planes in the sky for too long. In this session, we're going to give you some of the definitions that are important. Again, if you've come from a Dreamweaver or a front page background, content management systems are really different. All right, let's dive in. So what is Joomla? Well, when you ask that question, you're really asking the question, what is a content management system, or CMS for short? In its most basic form, it's a software platform that aids in the management of content on a website. A slightly better definition is it's a software application that makes it possible for non-technical users to publish content to a website. It serves as a store for a wide range of information assets, text, images, databases, videos, etc., etc. Let's take a look at what a content management system looks like. A CMS splits all of your website into basically three different aspects or three different areas. First is content. It's what you put into your site. The creative writing, the editing, maybe some HTML, maybe some PHP, CSS, whatever goes into your content items, those are all stored in a database. You have to think of it like three almost separate entities. Instead of the old way of writing HTML where each page was constructed and was contained in a single file. There are no pages in a Joomla website. There are content items that are stored in a database. The next area is the creative design, the site design, page layout, all of those kinds of things. Those are actually separate from the content itself. The advantage that this gives us is that when you want to change the look and feel of your site, it's just a matter of simply uploading a new template, clicking a button, and your entire site or any portion of it changes without you ever editing the content or the actual pages of your site, which if you remember, don't actually exist. They're stored in a database. The last thing that a content management system gives you is the technical design. This is the programming, the database, the PHP, Ajax, JavaScript, and this is what Joomla gives you as a package. Joomla creates all of the necessary code to produce the web pages that access your content and deliver it with your design. But all three of these things are separate. So when Joomla has an update, you don't have to worry about your content or your design because it's only the core files that are being updated. When you want to change your design, you don't have to actually physically change any code in Joomla because the two are separate. Similarly, when you want to change your content, you don't need to change your design and Joomla picks up the new content that you've entered and creates brand new pages each time somebody loads your website. So in its very essence, that's what a content management system is. That's what Joomla gives you. The advantages are endless, but again, just to recap, one, you don't have to change your design when you change your content. You don't have to change your content when you change your design. And when you update your software that runs your website, it does so without changing either of the others. A CMS gives you incredible flexibility in your web design. 
Well, what is Joomla? Again, at its most basic level, it's web publishing software. Joomla started off as Mambo in 2000, and in 2005, a group of the developers left the Mambo project and began Joomla. It quickly superseded Mambo, and as of around September 2008, there were over a million users in the Joomla forums. Millions of downloads, and thousands upon thousands of extensions that can help you take your Joomla site to whatever level you want. Joomla, as you probably know by now, is free. You can download Joomla as many times as you want. You can install it anywhere you want. You can install it as many times as you want, and it will never cost you a penny. There are thousands of extensions that are free as well. Some, however, are commercial, i.e. you need to pay for them. But generally speaking, the Joomla extensions you need to pay for are between 25 30 50 to a couple of hundred dollars. And really, in the big scheme of things, that's not a lot of money. Today, some content management systems that are proprietary cost anywhere from five to ten, even twenty-five thousand dollars, and that's not including the development of it once you purchase the software. Joomla, as an open source project, gives you incredible flexibility at a great price. Joomla is run by volunteers and with the support of Joomla businesses. These volunteers give of their time in order to create a project that the world can use. And indeed, Joomla is probably the most successful content management system in the world today. Now, there are no false promises with Joomla. One, it is easier. But as you can tell, and as you've probably figured out by now since you're in this course, it takes practice to run a site. It is quicker to put up a Joomla site. In fact, if you've got your content developed, you can have a site up easily within a day. It is cheaper, but it still may cost hundreds or thousands of dollars to have a really great site developed for you. And it is still much, much cheaper than buying a proprietary system that may or may not be supported by a company down the road. And finally, there are more options with Joomla. It, it's incredible to see the number of extensions, and we'll look at that in just a moment. But as you know, everything is off the shelf, which means you're at the mercy of the extension developers. Now with the over 7,500 extensions for Joomla at extensions.joomla.org, you'll probably be able to find the one that you need to do exactly what you want. And if you can't find the one you're looking for, there is a developer portal at developer.joomla.org with a list of great developers who can make an extension that will do just about anything you want it to do. There are no false promises with Joomla. It's not right for every site. WordPress is easier, and if you're just running a blog, then WordPress is great. But it doesn't have the extensibility that Joomla has. Drupal is much harder to learn, but gives you greater flexibility in some areas. Frankly, Joomla fits very nicely in the middle, and for the vast majority of websites, Joomla is more than you'll ever need. It supports video, audio, podcasting, database integration, blogging, you name it, Joomla does it. This is a great time to talk about the forum support. Because you've signed up for this course, you have a great tool in the forums. I want to encourage you to click on the link at the top of the page and make sure that you're posting questions, reading other people's questions, and interacting with other people taking the course. It's a great benefit of this Joomla beginner training program. And of course, we'll be in the forums answering your questions. See you there.